Hello, sports fans and football fans out there. It's me, Sportsman Z, and I'm trying to find a good place to put my face here. I think we can put my face right here. Um, I'm here with my week nine picks. Now, this week, the picks are going to be on the day of Thursday Night Football. So, you know, if you were looking for them earlier, I have put out a disclaimer that said it could be I could put my picks up on Tuesday night. I could put them up on Wednesday, or I could put them up first thing in the morning, Thursday morning, and here we are. Now, last week, I was 12-4. and four. I'm just going to cut to the chase. I was 12-4 and four last week. So, uh, you know, as the song says, how you like me now? So, yeah, 12-4. and four, We're almost back to 60% for the year. Almost. Not quite. But, uh, you know... We're right there. Missed it by that much. Um, last week, there l thankfully, there was only really one game that went, you know, that like everybody in the world expected to go the other way, and that was that Kansas City lost to Denver. Um, and I don't even know that everybody in the world thought that Denver was going to lose, or, yeah, that Denver was going to lose, but uh, they sure did. So we are, we find ourselves going into week nine here. Um, and you know what? I'm going to make myself bigger. Let's do that. Let's make myself a little bigger. So we are looking at the week 9 of 18, as you can see the schedule here. And the first game is going to be uh, on Thursday, the 2nd of November. And uh, it's, the, it's the day after All Souls Day. And two days after Halloween, where we only got two trick-or-treaters. Two, not like 200, two. So I don't know what happened there. But anyway, let me go up here and get my pen. I'm going to, let's see, we're going to, It's what do we want to do this time? Yeah, let's do blue. We'll go, we'll stick with blue. So, uh, and then, uh, yeah, I think we're good with the thickness there. So you got the Titans at the Steelers. Now the Titans, they've started playing Will Levis. And uh, Will Levis looked dang good. The guy threw four touchdown passes. In his debut, he threw four touchdown passes. I think it was his debut. Um, so, and the Steelers, they may not have Pickett at quarterback for this game. It might be my good friend, Mitch Trubisky. And uh, still, the Steelers are the same. They're the same team <laughs> as, as Dennis Green said. They are who we thought they were. <laughs> they're a great defensive team that can't score very often. So I'm going to go with the Titans. I'm going to go with Will Levis to take that Steelers defense apart. And all right, maybe he's not going to take it apart, but I think he can score enough points. You know, he can score 12 points because that's basically what the Steelers are good for. Now that you, we're going to start the Sunday games, and the first one you got is the Dolphins at the Chiefs. Now, I've been saying for a while, that the Chiefs are a smoke and mirrors type of a team. They win, but they, well, let's just say they just barely win. They play down to competition, and uh, yeah. So we're going to go with the Dolphins. I'm going with the Dolphins here. The Dolphins are on a roll, a little bit of a roll. Kansas City, they looked really bad against Denver. And even though they're at home, I think the Dolphins are going to beat them. I think the Dolphins and that high-flying offense are going to beat them. By the way, I like their 70s throwback uniforms that they played with last week. Did you see that? Awesome. Nice touch. Now we've got the Vikings at the Falcons. And you know I like what the Falcons are doing this year. But did you see what happened to the Vikings? They lost Kirk Cousins for the year. He's out. So... I think the plan is to go with the rookie. They did sign Josh Dobbs, but Josh Dobbs is going to need time to learn the offense. So they're probably, I'm going to guess, they're not going to throw Josh Dobbs right in there. I think they're going to, uh, I know a, a, a friend of mine is a Vikings fan. He says what they should do and what he thinks they probably will do is play the rookie, see how he is, and um, if he can uh, if he can handle it, they'll just go. They'll make Dobbs the backup for the rest of the season, 
And if he's a little overwhelmed, then they'll put Dobbs in once he learns the offense. But you got to believe that's not going to be this week. And even if it was, is Josh Dobbs really that good? No. So uh, I'm going to go with the Falcons. I'm going to go with the Falcons and their continuing march to the playoffs. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if they're going to make the playoffs, but right now I think they're right up there near the uh, top of the uh, NFC South. Next, you got the Bears at the Saints. The Saints are kind of a mess. I mean, they're a good defensive team, but they're basically a mess. And the Bears made a trade deadline deal to get Montez Sweat from the Washington Commanders. So our defense is bolstered a little bit with the addition of Sweat. Not that that makes it a good defense, but um, I think that with another week under his belt, you know, um, Badgett, he didn't look good last week. He threw a couple of interceptions, two or three interceptions, but he's learning as he goes. And, you know, maybe they've got, who knows, maybe they've got uh, Fields back this week. I don't know, but I think the Bears are going to pull this one out. I think they're going to beat the Saints in New Orleans. All right, the next one you got is the Rams and the Packers. And the Packers are just a complete pile of doo-doo this year. The Rams have had their moments. The Rams have a good offensive team. Uh, They've got uh, Puka Nakua. Is that his name? I don't know. And they've got the other guy, you know, that they always had, the other good wide receiver, and Stafford at quarterback. The offense is fine. The Rams' offense is fine. It's just... They're lacking a little bit defensively, but the Packers are lacking everywhere. They don't really have a good defense. They lost a lot of their receivers to the Jets. They lost their quarterback to the Jets. And, um, you know, frankly, Jordan Love is not proving that he's picking things up quickly enough. We're going to go with the Rams. Take the Rams on the road in Green Bay. Next one you got is the Commanders and the Patriots. i got to look and see who i got in this one. All right, so this game is in New England. Uh, the Patriots are, I mean, they're bad, but every once in a while they pull out a game that you're surprised that they played that well. But really that describes the Commanders, too. Neither one of these teams is really good. They didn't do much at the trade deadline. In fact, the Commanders shed two of their defensive players as the aforementioned Montez Sweat went to Chicago. And uh, they also lost Chase Young to um, the 49ers, our good friends, the 49ers, that have been on a a losing skid. So, um, you know, I'm going to go with the Patriots. I'm taking the Patriots. They're at home. They're a Belichick coach team. The Commanders have lost two key players on their defense. And that brings us to the Seahawks and the Ravens. Now, you know, The Ravens were one of those teams, like Kansas City, that was uh, sometimes they're a smoke and mirrors team. But I don't know. Now I think maybe they're starting to put everything together. Now they're starting to hit their uh, hit their groove. And uh, but the Seahawks, they did. They went out and they got a key defensive piece from the Giants. So this is going to be tough. But the Ravens are at home. They have a high flying offense. I think it's still better than the Seahawks. We're going to go with the Ravens there. Next one you got is the Buccaneers and the Texans. I really hate this game because it's like, not only is it a who cares game, but neither one of these teams is really good. Um, And I, yes, I did take the Texans. I'm going to take the Texans. I'm really only taking the Texans because they're at home. I don't really have any faith in either one of these teams. Now you got the Cardinals at the Browns. Now the Cardinals, Kyler Murray may be back, but even if he comes back, it's going to be his first game back. We don't know if he will, or at least I don't. Um, and then they've got some guy with a weird name that's a, uh, like he was the second or third string quarterback, and he was behind Dobbs, and we know that Dobbs is now in Minnesota. So, uh, yeah, and the Browns have a good defense. They have one of the best defenses in the NFL, I don't think it really matters who the quarterback is. Deshaun Watson might be back. He might or might not be back. But um, if he's not, they're going to have P.J. Walker, and he's learning on the job and getting better. 
I'm going to go with the Browns here. I think the Browns can beat the hapless Cardinals, the hapless depleted Cardinals. And that moves us along to the Colts at the Panthers, and we're just going to cut right through the crap, and we're going to take the Colts because the Panthers are bad. Now, the Panthers did win last week. Somehow they managed to win, but they're bad. Next one we got is the Giants and the Raiders. Again, this is another game. I don't know how to call this. I mean, you know what? Uh, I mean, because the Raiders, they fired their coach. They fired McDaniels. And they fired their GM. And they don't look very good. They don't have a really great defense. But the Giants lost one of their key defensive pieces. And they're down to their third string quarterback who is hopefully getting a lot of practice time this uh, week because the Giants didn't go out and get a quarterback. I'm going to go with the Raiders. I'm only going to go with the Raiders because of two things. One, they're at home, and the other thing is they've got a new coach now, and that usually gives a team a little bump. Uh, I mean, they didn't like McDaniels anyway, so they're going to like the new guy, uh, Antonio something. Um and I and I what I've heard is that the players like him anyway, so that that's going to give them plan on that giving them a little bump. And they're at home. I'll take the Raiders. Next one, you got the boys. The Cowboys are on the road in Philadelphia at the Eagles. Again, you know I don't really know here. The Eagles is Doctor Jekyll or Mister Hyde going to show up? Really, you can say that about Dallas, too. Is Dr. Jekyll or Mr. Hyde going to show up? Now, what we would ideally like to see is a battle between the two Dr. Jekylls and neither Mr. Hyde. But, um, I, you know, I don't know. This is tough. Um, the Eagles, though, the Eagles have been really hot lately and they're home. I'm going to take the Eagles over the Cowboys. Should be a good game if the Cowboys play like they did last week when they destroyed somebody. They just took them completely apart. Um, and, uh, yeah. So, but I'm, you know, I think it'll be a good game. But I'm going to go with the Eagles at home. Next one you got is the Bills and the Bengals. The Bills again. The Bills are another team. It's like a they're, you know, a smoke and mirrors team. They don't play well quite a bit even when they win. And uh, this one, in this one, they're on the road at Cincinnati. Um, so, and Cincinnati really played well coming off the bye last week. And Burrow looks like he has shed all of his injury stuff. All of his injury problems are behind him. Um, and so I'm going to go with the Bengals. I'm going with the Bengals at home. Burrow over the Bills, uh, the Bills team. It didn't seem to have done much at the trade deadline. And that leaves us with the Monday, November 5th game, and that's the Chargers at the Jets. The Jets are going to be at home against the Chargers. Now, they played an ugly game last week against the Giants, but the Giants, uh, I guess, have a, they do have a pretty good defense. The Chargers, you really can't say that about. And, uh, and, you know, and Zach Wilson seems to be getting better and better and more and more comfortable every week. Um, so even though the Chargers have some, you know, offensive weapons like Herbert and Eckler, I'm going with the Jets here. And so that is basically, that's my pick. So let's just scroll back through them so you can take a look. Get a good look because last week, my friends, I was 12-4. and four. And so that is going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.